So I woke up this morning to a fun proof of concept and uh, the concept is, of course, abundance is the natural result of following one's heart. And the reason that's my kind of focus right now is that I have this belief that when when I'm feeling my heart fully and I'm following the passion and I'm ignited and I'm, I'm in it, then doors open and magic happens and um, failure isn't something that holds me back. I used to actually think that when I was doing something that was more aligned with my heart, that failure was more of a hindrance because it felt so real for me. Like if I believe in this thing so much and it represents who I am, if somebody denies it or rejects it, rejects it, then it's it it's denying or rejecting this thing that I feel passionately about. And I, I'm actually starting to flip that on its head. I I'm starting to feel like wait a minute, the moments in my life when I'm feeling so aligned and so motivated and so activated, I don't even give a shit about rejection. I don't care about what you know, what works, what doesn't, it's all part of the fun. And I know that when one door closes, there's a window that's open or something, you know, it's like when I get a no from somebody, it's usually like a no, but no, you can't do this thing. Um, but I have this other thing that you might be able to be uh, involved in, you know, so there's always some opportunity. So I'm just really enjoying flipping that concept on its head and recognizing that the more alignment I'm feeling, the less I'm worried about rejection and the more I'm just engaged, activated, uh, nothing is going to stop me. So this morning, I uh, I did something that I don't normally do, which is I looked at Facebook before 11 a.m. And usually that's one of my rules. I don't look at Facebook before 11 a.m. But for whatever reason, this morning I did. And the first thing there was one of those memories from years ago. And the interesting thing was it was a video. It was a video I made um, years ago when I was really my heart was set on being a touring musician. I was focused on being a musician. And one night we saw that we could possibly get into this battle of bands to go to this festival. That night we recorded a track. I spent hours working on this video just because it was fun and it, it was I was impassioned by it and I was excited to do it and it was just in line for me. We sent in this video, we got accepted to go to the battle of the bands. We went to the Battle of Bands, finding out that I w we were there up against people that I had seen at major festivals. You know, we were up up against big names. You know, names that are very well known in this in, in the city that we were in, and yet we just went for it. Nothing was holding us back. We were totally in it. We were totally engaged. We played our asses off, and we won. We won that night, and we got to go play that major festival, and that spurred forward this opportunity to create a tour and we ended up touring around the country three different times playing big shows little shows festivals all these different things and when i saw that video this morning all of that flashback it was like this proof it was like a previously existing proof of concept of this thing that i'm feeling in my heart that when i was fully aligned and i was fully activated and i just knew what i wanted and i was clear and i was excited there was nothing that was holding me back. There was just belief that it's any, anything is possible. And even if we didn't win, I'm still going to do this thing because I love it. I'm in love with this, you know? So, and even later, uh, the video aspect of it, I ended up doing a lot of videography stuff because I really enjoyed that and I really wanted to create something around that. So I did for a while uh, in audio production, you know? So those are, those are different stories, but it was just, it was fun this morning to wake up and see this um, this representation, like have it right there in front of me, this representation, um, these, this evidence of when I'm just in my heart and I'm following that and I'm dedicated, that the doors open, the magic happens, even in spaces where it seems like it's not possible. You know, we're going up against this guy who's got a huge following and a huge name and somehow we win. So, and as an interesting kind of, extra piece there, uh, the drummer of that band, my, my good friend who I haven't seen in a while is actually coming to visit to me, visit me today. So, uh, just very interesting, like magical synchronicities. And this is the kind of stuff that we just can't measure. And there's just no telling what's possible outside of our logical 
rational linear thinking it's like there's something else that happens when we're really in our heart and we're really in passion for what we're doing that doors just just appear and it seems like magic and I don't know maybe it is magic maybe it's not um, some people call things like manifestation some people call it priming the brain you know where we set our intentions and we speak it and we write it and our brain is suddenly kind of like a compass and it's attuned to where we're gonna see things that match what we've been intending, right? We're gonna follow that, right? So that's kind of magical. Um, but either way, the point is that there's something that happens. There's something there. And I, I enjoy actually leaving room for the magic. I enjoy saying like, I don't really know how the magical synchronicities of this world work, except for they do. They do. And so the more I am following my passion, following my heart, the doors open up. The doors open up. Abundance is the natural result of following one's heart. And I believe it fully and I'm excited to see some evidence of that from my own past today in a big way. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention. You know, there's little pieces, little bits and pieces that fall through the cracks of this process and I have to be willing to let that go and just trust that like what I'm bringing to these videos, <clears throat> what I'm bringing to the community is what needs to be brought. You know, there's, it's almost impossible for me to grab everything. Um, yeah. Maybe when I write the memoir, <laughs> I will go back through and watch the raw video of all these and see what's there and, you know, get a chance to see that part of it because maybe I'll see something else that I'm not necessarily sharing with the world in terms of the back end or um, other things that get spoken about. I know there's a couple things that have been missed. One of them is, uh, is uh, my beloved and I say that we don't, we don't like to use the words I know like I know creates barriers when somebody's telling us something we say I know it's almost like it shuts everything down and what's interesting is when we say I don't know it actually opens everything up is what we've learned so um, it's just interesting to recognize that I know for us like I know is like we're defending our hearts and I don't know I don't really know is like we're opening our hearts to and we're available for knowing obviously there's an energy behind I don't know uh, in terms of a willingness to want to know, but it's still just a beautiful aspect to uh, recognize that. I think there's some other pieces too that I'm that I'm missing, but like I said, I think along the way, pieces are going to be lost, pieces are going to be missed, and uh, it's just part of the game, just part of the fun. Not trying to hold on to things too rigidly, I think, is part of that surrender into the heart like there's a sense of releasing our linear our need to linearly kind of grab everything and make sure it's all organized in an order and uh ways of the heart are a little more abstract they're a little more fluid they're a little more spiral and uh magical you know and like letting ourselves have that letting myself have that is you know part of the part of the journey i think so Here's to uh, releasing, relinquishing my control, my need to control everything. 